Hello and welcome to Natty. If you would like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. This is currently in early access on Steam. It is a tower defense roguelite hybrid, and it kind of reminds me a little bit of Slay the Spire, but it also has Kingdom Rush elements to it. And as you can see right here, I've just completed a uh, level, and we are going to be getting some gems, which is obviously the currency that you need to purchase things from the store. And you also have hero upgrade and leather gloves. No idea what the leather gloves do, but I assume they are equipment for your hero. And you can also gain some new gear here as well. So you can see here we have Boozer. This is my hero at the moment. And there are, I would assume numerous different heroes. Obviously, I have not actually unlocked any of those just yet. But of course, the developers are listening to feedback and they are very receptive to that. So if you have any suggestions for them, by all means, leave it in the Steam forums or somewhere that they can see it, most notably, probably their Discord. Anyway, what I really love about this game so far is the fact that they have melded the roguelite elements from, for example, Slay the Spire with tower defense from things like, you know, like Kingdom Rush and so on and so forth. And they've melded these really nicely, actually, because you can see here, this is basically choosing an artifact. And so you choose one of these and then something happens with your, uh, with your characters. Either you get a new tower and getting a new tower can actually make things really quite fantastic. I'm gonna go for the firecracker here, I think that sounds pretty fun. And you also have the Slay the Spire style choosing the different lanes with which to go in. So for example, there's the shop right here, so I can spend my currency if we wanna do that, or we can go for the rest. I think I might... Hmm. I think we're gonna go actually for the top battle here, and then I'm gonna go for the rest. So what I okay, here's the thing. If you don't know me, all right, if you don't know me, I love tower defense. I really do. I think tower defense is super, super fun. I always have, ever since I was very young and I was playing flash games, and tower defense was my, you know, my main pick. Uh but yeah, anyway, point is the wonderful thing about this game is that you can actually use keybinds to control your hero. Uh, one thing I found about tower defense that has hero control is that it doesn't have keybinds for that, which really, it really grinds my gears when that happens. Anyway, what we're actually going to do is we have a bunch of unique towers, as you can see. The, these are the towers that you start with. You start with wooden bows, cannonballs, iron shields, and bells. And these all have different damage types, of course. So, for example, bells, they have magic damage. Wooden bows have physical damage. Cannonballs are, well, AoE physical damage. And then you have iron shield, and that's basically allowing you to spawn minions that will block the enemy's advance. You know, very very much Kingdom Rush style, obviously, as you might expect. However, you then gain unique towers when you go into battle and you win battles. You gain a either a random, random tower or a choice of random towers. And I gained the multi-crossbow, which attacks several enemies at once, which in my opinion is very cool. And you also have the fan here, which stuns the enemy when a critical attack occurs. And then the newest one is this, which accelerates the cooldown time of the nearby towers. Which, in my opinion, is crazy good. So I'm actually going to see what I can do here. Um, can I actually... Maybe this one? Yeah, we're going to make it go there. And then we'll, we'll build a fan here, and then we'll build the multi-crossbow there, and that seems pretty good. You can also do upgrades, of course, so I'm just going to upgrade the fan right there as well. And then we can just click on that little button, and then that's going to... Uh, send the wave. Now what's really cool though, is you also have abilities. You have abilities down in the bottom left here. You have one ability which which spawns like these bunny warriors, and the bunny warriors will come out and they'll do a little bit of attacking and then they'll run back to their previous position. You can continue summoning these over and over again, however you like of course, as you might expect. And there's also another ability which is kind of like an AoE bombardment sort of thing. And you want to use that if you have a huge amount of enemies coming. Like, for example, now, boom, boom, boom. We're just going to clear all of those guys out. And then we can actually continue spawning some additional towers here. But you cannot spawn them infinitely, as you can see right there. Because, obviously, if you wanted to spawn more of these wooden uh, bow towers, you wouldn't be able to do that. Because I've already used two of them. So that's something to bear in mind. Otherwise, we're just going to spawn an iron shield around about here. Because I just want to make sure that we don't have any random units getting past. You want to make sure that they don't get past, of course. Now, we're dealing with one incredibly large wave here. That's the thing that we're dealing with right now. Okay, let me just get that guy over there. 
And we're actually going to get another one of these defender towers here. We're just going to move them around about there too. And then we're just going to move... Is Boozer dead actually? No, no. He's still alive. Okay. That's absolutely fine. And we can also get some bells out there if we want to as well, but I think we're absolutely fine. Now, the one thing that I actually saw in one of the reviews on the Steam Store page, which I gotta say was a little bit weird to me because some people have some weird criticisms of games in early access, in my opinion. I don't know, maybe it's just, maybe it's just me, but they had a criticism about the fast forward mode. Okay, so the fast forward mode by default can be enabled by holding down F. Okay, so you can hold down F and then the fast forward mode activates while you are holding it down. And they were complaining about the fact that it's not a toggle. Now, here's the thing. The button for the fast forward mode, if you could see my cursor, is in the top of the screen. You can click on that and that is the toggle. So you don't actually need to use a keybind or anything like that. You can just click on the, the little icon up there and that toggles the fast forward mode on. Now for me personally, I think that's perfectly fine. I have no issue with that whatsoever because you may just want to increase the speed very sporadically. You might not want to have it on a toggle. You might want to have it only speed up for five seconds and in which case that is perfect with a keybind. I don't know, maybe that's just me as I say. Anyway, we have a choice of a new tower here. This is obviously maybe the best one. Pierces the enemy, reducing their defense and resistance when a critical attack occurs. Why not? Let's take it. Boom. And let's, let's move on. Okay, so now we can go to the rest area. I haven't actually gone to a rest area yet, so this is obviously new. Okay, so, um, yeah, you start off with 20 HP, by the way. However, uh, some events can reduce your HP randomly. So you have to be a bit careful of that. I did have a, uh, an event that lost me 3 HP. I didn't actually lose HP through enemies getting past me or anything like that. But, you know, that happens. Anyway, I'm actually just going to increase our hero level here. He's going to get to level 3. He's going to increase his HP region, his attack, his defense, his, you know, all this wonderful stuff. And we also have skill points. Yes, we have skill points. So we are now able to actually do additional things so we can actually give him some uh, other abilities so we can give him things like smash deals 300 true damage and weakens the enemy for five seconds or we can get this which nullifies incoming damage with a 10% chance and also attack speed plus 10% for five seconds when nullified successfully so that's basically like a nice little damage add for him or I can improve my summoned minions which I am exactly going to do that sounds like a much better idea for me and otherwise I'm going to go into the store here See if I can actually buy something. Shoots lightning that bounces and causes change attacks. Uh, learns the ability to wipe out the surroundings in an instant with a shower of arrows. Yeah, there's a bunch of really cool things here. Oh, I really wish I had slightly more gems. Oh, the, all of these would be amazing. Hero respawn. Ah, oh, yeah, all of these are absolutely incredible. Unfortunately, I don't have any money. I don't have enough money for those, at least. Okay, uh, I guess we'll go for... I could get another another firecracker tower for 24 gems. Yeah, sure. That sounds like a good idea. And let's go on to the next battle. We'll save up a couple of our gems. Okay, so now this is a multi-lane, uh, multi-lane one, multi-wave level as well. So obviously that's going to be a little bit of an issue. So we're just going to be putting our rabbits around about here. And we're going to be having to build... Mm, I'm not sure whether we should build at this intersection. It might be a bit too late. So I'm a bit worried about that, but let's try it out, shall we? Okay, so we've got a firecracker there. We should probably put another firecracker somewhere else nearby. Oh, yeah, maybe getting another firecracker wasn't the best idea. I don't really know. Yeah, may maybe somewhere like this. And then we could just upgrade it. Maybe. <laughs> I actually don't even know. Oh, no, that's terrible. Maybe I've done a... Oh, I've made a mistake. I've probably made a mistake. Okay. Well, let's just get the fan there and all that wonderful all right. stuff. And then we'll just start the game. Okay. So they also give you these little pop-ups here on the right side of the screen. You don't have to look at these, but they do give you some pretty decent information about what you're going to be facing ahead of time. So as you can see, we're up against the new Eggy enemy, which has high defense and it periodically increases defense. If it does take magic damage, its defense is reduced by 50. Bear in mind, this game is made by a small indie developer as well. And so, if you do want to support them, 
then I would highly recommend it because let's face it, you know, indie devs and everything, you really do want to try and support those as much as you can. Anyway, we're just going to try and get these guys. Okay, wait a minute. Um, yeah, I need to get my hero over here, actually. Uh, yeah, I I do need to get a... Uh, I do need to get some kills on these guys. Let's actually just use this. Boom. Boom. Let's try and do massive damage. Yes, there we go. Okay, that's what we want. And we're just going to get some of these guys up and running. Okay, yeah, this is... Oh, my. This is not going to go well. Okay, I'm going to have to move this guy back here. Okay, this is going to be a bit problematic, potentially. Oh, they, do they heal? Do they heal? Oh, no. Oh, that that is that is bad. What do we have here? It casts darkness to, sur to its surroundings. You need to be brave to approach. It's unblockable. 25% chance to ignore damage. Okay. Well, that's going to be a bit problematic, isn't it? Yeah, that's going to be very bad. Okay, these guys are moving way too fast for my liking as well. I think I might be, uh, might be having some big problems here. Yeah, I think I built badly. Okay. Uh, oh, I can't, I can't restart. Oh, yeah, I can't restart because it's a roguelite. Of course, it's a roguelite. Uh, usually, I would restart if this was a tower defense, but no, I think, I think we're actually done. Let's actually see what happens if we just speed things up a little bit more. I mean, I do have the ability to build another one of these magic towers, but don't think that's really going to make any difference whatsoever to my success here. I think I am pretty much dead. There we go. All right. Well, it does give us the ability to check out a new game. And we're going to see what we have here. Okay, so we start with 99 gems and 20 HP. So we're going to see how this goes. There is an elite battle that you cannot avoid on the third third round. So we're going to have to be a bit careful here. I guess we'll just go for an event and we'll see what happens. A soldier with sparkling eyes hands over a booklet. This is a textbook my teacher wrote, who was a master of all kinds of martial arts. It will surely help you too. Hero upgrade. Fantastic. Already a hero upgrade? Okay, great. So that means we gain a skill point and we can actually advance. I'm going to go for shoulder roll this time instead of leveling up the rabbits. And we'll see how that goes. Maybe that's going to go nicely. A distant relative leaves you a legacy. Plus 58 gems. May it be used for a good purpose. Fantastic. Okay, that was actually really nice. And now we're going to go into the elite battle straight away. I'm a little bit worried about this, i got to say. Kind of worried. Not sure if we're going to do very well here, but I, I guess we can just try. Uh, let me see now. Hmm, we want to go... want to go here, here, here. And then we want to go like so. Let's maybe move them around about there. That seems nice. And let's do it. All right, I'm ready with the bunnies. Let's do this. Destroy them. Destroy we should probably move them. back a little bit, actually, with our with our heroes, to be honest, because at the moment we're not really uh, in range of all the all the towers, which is a little bit uh, not not very good, is it? No, not very good. So yeah, I should probably upgrade my towers as well. All things considered, I think that would probably be a little bit better. I'm just going to bombard them ahead of schedule, to be honest. I think that makes the most sense, just to take them down as fast as we possibly can these enemies are going to be a little bit difficult to deal with because as you can see they do burrow underneath the ground and that makes everything much much harder for us gonna just upgrade the defensive tower a little bit more here want to make sure that my forces don't let anyone nearby or should we say pass them and we've got magic towers here i guess i could upgrade those we could upgrade these let's send some more people Okay, these guys are going to be harsh. They they have high defense. Let's use Bombardment once again. Let's use this. Upgrade this. Upgrading is extremely important, as far as I can tell from this game. And we also got to be very careful of the fact that my hero is now dead. So let me just move him over here. There we go. Yes. Okay, let's get another one of these out there. Uh, actually, you know what? It probably would have been a better idea for me to... Uh, just upgrade, to be honest. That would probably have been better. Oh no. They're going to get by. Are they going to get by? Yep. They are going to get by. Huge amount of them are going to get by, actually. Oh, oh, we, we can stop some of them. We can stop some of them. Yes. Perfect. 
Okay, whew, that was close. That was real, real close. Okay, so we gain a hero upgrade once again. We're going to go for another one of these shoulder rolls with our uh, ability. And we're going to... Ooh, Phoenix Staff. Let me take the Phoenix Staff. That sounds fantastic. We can go to the store now if we want to. 184 gems. Not sure if that is going to be enough. But let's go there anyway and let's take a look and see what we can get. Sometimes you're going to need to go here because you really do need the upgrades. Oh, yes, you do. Archer Tower critical rate plus 15%. Wow, okay. Archer tower damage plus 30% to blocked enemy. Hmm, I'm thinking... Hmm, yeah, I'm actually thinking the critical rate. I think the critical rate could be really useful here. Okay, so a Haggard Traveler has fallen to the ground. It seems like they broke their leg. You can either rescue them. Unfortunately, I don't have enough gems for this. But we can loot him and we can gain 43 gems. We can also now go to the rest stop so we can rest and recover 50% of our max HP. Or we can gain a hero upgrade. I'm going to rest so that we get back to full HP for the moment. Because we are going to be going into another elite battle. Which is going to be very, very harsh. Or at least I think it's going to be harsh. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's just put one of these here. One of these here, one of these here, and then we'll just go for two defensive towers right next to each other because we want to make sure that no one gets by. No one's getting by us, that's for sure. Right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> let's hope anyway, right? Yeah, yeah, let's hope. Okay, so these things are very difficult, as you can quite clearly tell. They have massive amounts of defenses. Hopefully my Phoenix Staff is going to do massive damage here. Going to try and rank it up as soon as possible. There we go. Nice little upgrade for it. And we're going to upgrade it even further when we can. Okay, this is... Whoa, these guys. These guys are harsh. Going to just use Bombardment against them. Just get them out the way. Nice. Okay. We actually did that. Okay. Uh, we need to upgrade this. Is there, is there another upgrade? There is. The, oh, wow. Okay. The Phoenix Staff is going to do absolutely insane damage right now. Okay. We just need one more kill. There we go. And that is a fully... Oh, fully upgraded tower is hilarious. Okay. That's going to be so, so damaging. No, no, no. Are you serious that they got by? Oh, wow. Okay. That is sad. But we, we are, we're, we're okay. That's the point. We're okay. As long as we've got a rest stop nearby as well, we, we should be fine. So we're just going to continue dealing damage here. I am needing to upgrade some of these things. We also need to do this. Look at this. Whoa, we've got some unique upgrades here. Throws three fibers that deal um, 100 magic damage. Let's do that. Why not? That sounds fun. Okay, and we also... Yeah, so these things can only upgrade one level. But the Phoenix Tower can level up so much more. That is so crazy. Wow, it can gain so many upgrades as well. <laughs> oh, I am so pleased I took that. Let's just say that. I am really, really pleased I took that. Heals 100 of ally HP in range and deals 100 magic damage to the enemy. You can also upgrade it even further. I'm going to be going for Breath of Phoenix, I think. I think that sounds like a much better idea. Let's go for that. And then we can also just get, get another one of these little cannon towers right here. I could technically sell this thing, but I'm not sure if I really want to do that. Yeah, so far, I mean, literally, the Phoenix Tower is just murdering every single thing in sight now because we have that, uh, that we have the, they have those upgrades, you know, that's really making a huge difference. It holds a grudge against all the living, maybe too much. It applies a curse to a tower when dead. Curse decreases damage and attack speed by 50%. Oh, wow, okay. That's going to be pretty bad. Okay, let's do that. Okay, I think that's actually it. I don't think we have any other problems. Look at how much damage this tower is doing. I cannot believe it. Wow. Okay, that was super, super good. Okay, so we gain another hero upgrade right here. We can get a... Uh, oh, we can't actually get the fully fully upgraded thing right there. Okay, that's kind of sad, but... Uh, I'll go for hero, uh, hero breaker, I suppose. We'll go... Uh, actually, not hero breaker, but helm breaker. We'll go for helm breaker. And we also get an anvil... Going to go for the Atlas Bow because that is slightly higher quality. And uh, I, that seems to be much more important than you might imagine. We can go to the store or we can go to the... I'm, go I'm going to go to rest, of course, so we can get a hero upgrade because there doesn't seem to be a point in anything else. And unfortunately, I don't have anything to spend this ability point on. So we're going to have to save it until the next time he levels up. <laughs> All right. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, so 
Once again, the Phoenix Staff is amazing. So I will probably be using that. Let's just spec that there. Let's put the Atlas Bow over here. Let's put these two things once again round about there. That seems like a really good idea to me. And otherwise, we can just... Actually, let's just upgrade this thing. Let's just upgrade the Phoenix Tower. I, I, I don't think anything else was really used that much. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's do it. Okay, what do we have here? While disguised as a bird, it swoops down toward you. So it's a flying. Okay. Real body falls to the ground when dead. Okay. Does my Phoenix Staff actually deal damage to flying enemies? That is the question I have right now. I do not know. So I guess I will use... Yes, it does. Okay, so that's absolutely fine then. Okay, these things... Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. These things need to be destroyed very quickly. Wow, okay. <laughs> Boozer does so much damage right now. He's doing so much more damage than he was before. Okay, I need to get another upgrade here. There we go. Another nice upgrade. And now we can just get, just get 300. We just need 300. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Wait, can I, can I? Oh, yeah. Okay, I just bombarded that thing just to save one HP. That was absolutely huge waste. Absolute huge waste. Okay, this is actually really bad. Yeah, this is this is not good. Okay, we we are gonna need to. Oh no! Th oh, this is this is bad. This is bad. Okay, now that we know that there are flying units that can do that, what I need to do is I need to build more towers that can actually deal with flying. So yeah, thankfully we did achieve victory, but that was very very costly indeed. Okay, uh, the minion deals magic damage, freezes the enemy to decrease speed. That sounds pretty good. Okay, we can go for another event. Okay, so we can protect them or we can run away. I'm actually going to run away, unfortunately, because I just don't have enough HP to be able to do that, I don't think. And now here's the boss. This is the first time I've actually gotten to the boss, surprisingly enough. You might think, oh, yes, surely you've gotten to the boss before. But no, no, actually, this is the first time. Okay, so let's actually have a look here. Oh, my. Okay. Right. Uh, hmm, I'm not sure how this is really going to go. Okay, I want my Phoenix Staff to be somewhere amazing. So I guess I will place it here. And then we'll put the, the Frost Bomb there. We'll put the Atlas Bow here. Another Wooden Bow there. Defensive Structure here. Defensive Structure here. And then we will just upgrade the Phoenix. And uh, I don't even know whether I should upgrade that. We should upgrade this, though. No problem. All right. Let's go for it. Okay, so it's going to come from this direction first. So hopefully the Atlas Bow is going to do a decent enough job. I'm actually just going to bombard these ones. Just get it out of the way super All fast. Right. All right. How slowly do they actually attack down there? The Frost Bomb doesn't seem to attack too fast. So we do need to be a bit aware of that. Let's upgrade this. I'm just trying to be very, very cautious right now. Okay, we're just going to speed things up a little bit. Want to level this up? Okay, it has more, it has more level ups. That's really, really good. Uh, I need to level this up more as well because my hero is in the top lane. So I need to make sure that we're doing okay with the bottom lane as well. What's this new thing? It's someone's hatchlings. No, it's someone's hatchlings. That's terrible. Oh, no. This is going to be really bad. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. No, no. We stunned it. Okay, that's great. More damage, please. Yes, more damage, Phoenix Tower. More damage. I need more damage from you, sir. Thank you. Yes, hopefully it's actually going to help me. It's doing... I mean, it seems to be doing a pretty decent job so far. Uh, wait, um, oh, I'll just, I'll just bombard it. I'll just bombard it. There we go. That seems to be the way to go. Okay, so we need a 14 magic damage dot. I think that's what I'm probably going to go for here. My guy is taking way too much damage right now. Bit worried about that. Gonna have to move him away a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, is he going to survive? Yes, he did. 
He managed to survive. Yes, Boozer. Good work, sir. All right. That's absolutely perfect. Okay, so now we can actually do this. What's this? Ignores target's defense. Deals. Oh, wow. These are amazing abilities. These are absolutely amazing abilities. I love the, I love the unique abilities of the towers. They are so incredibly good. They really are. Okay, so I need to get another wooden tower out here somewhere. I guess I will do the top lane. Because that seems to be where we need the most help, potentially. Okay, so let's just advance this a little bit more. There we go. There we are. Okay, absolutely perfect. Wonderful. Oh, boss time. Hello. All right, please go, please go to the bottom lane. Please go to the bottom lane. Please go to the bottom lane. Oh, no, he's not going to the bottom lane. Okay, well, that's that's perfect. Uh, not really. Okay, let's go for some more damage. For the Atlas Tower. Oh, he killed my guy in one hit. Oh, no. Is he really going to go this way? Oh, please, please don't say that he's only going to go that way. Oh, dear. Okay, I'm going to use Bombard here, but that's not really going to do much. I hope he's not going to go just straight to the end. I hope that's not what he does. No, no, he, he walks everywhere. He walks everywhere. That's actually perfect. Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay, kill, kill this guy. I'm just going to kill him. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's right next to the phoenix. Yes, perfect. Okay, he's dead. Absolutely wonderful. Whew. All right, I was super worried about that real quick. Okay, here we go. Now we get to select an actual artifact. Okay, wait a minute. So the things we had, uh, the things we were picking up wasn't actually an artifact. Okay, wait a minute. Strong dot attacks when critical attack occurs. Dot duration continues without end. Ooh, that sounds fun. Okay, we're going to go for the Parasite, I guess. And what else do we have here? A great sword. An overpowering minion attacks the nearby enemy. Increases the continuous damage and rate of critical attacks. Oh. Ah. Uh, I'm going to go for great sword. I think it sounds fun. All right. Yeah, yeah. No, but that's the point. You can see exactly what this game is doing. And it's doing it very well, in my opinion. The only thing, as I say, I would love to see is a sense of... I think a sense of meta progression. I think that's the one thing that might be missing from it, but I'm I'm not entirely sure because obviously you don't really get anything for when you are outside of the run. So when you end the run, you're not really getting anything to make yourself stronger the next time. However, I, I suppose you're getting, you're, I mean, you're gaining personal experience, you know, you're getting your very own, you know, uh, personal advancement. So you know and have better knowledge of the enemies and the strategies next time around. So maybe that's something to consider. I don't know. Oh, wow. Okay, this is going to be harsh. Or maybe not, actually. I don't think this is going to be particularly harsh. I think this should be pretty easy. So we're going to go for the Phoenix Staff once again. Going to go for this here, uh, this here, I guess. And then the Atlas Bow can just go here, I guess. So something like this. Defensive Tower here, here. And we want to... What about the Greatsword? Is the Greatsword really, really good? Should I just upgrade that over and over again? I guess. Maybe that sounds like a good idea. All right, let's do it. Okay, we got new... Oh, no. It dives. Okay, wait a minute. Is it going to go this way? Does it go along? No, no, no. They've got legs. Okay, that's very cute, actually. <laughs> that is a very, very cute enemy. Although they're probably going to murder me completely. All right, so this guy is actually just going to stand here. Oh, okay, so he's a minion that will attack. Okay, so that means that he can actually die, which is not great, although maybe it's okay. Maybe it's fine. What else do we have here? Mobster, strong AoE attack, high defense. Mobster, which is a lobster. It's a mobster lobster. Indeed, it is a mobster lobster. That is hilarious. Okay, let's go for another one of these. Actually, I'm just going to sell that, to be honest. Don't see the point to put it there. All right, let's do this. I'm going to just bombard this thing. Whoa, it does... Okay, it basically literally just doesn't take any damage. 
Yeah, how is my greatsword actually doing right now? I don't even know how it's doing. It seems to do decent-ish damage, but personally, I still prefer the Phoenix Staff Tower. I think the Phoenix Staff Tower is much better when it comes to its upgrades. Um, as you can see, it doesn't seem to really... Uh, yeah, it, it seems to be pretty easy to get by the uh, greatsword, to be honest, unfortunately. Which is obviously not what you want, and the mobster has 3,000 HP. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm probably just gonna let it go by. Should I let it go by? Actually, should I not? Move him away. Ah, I can't move him away. Oh, bombard him. Oh, that's not enough time. Yeah, unfortunately. He, oh, he only took, yeah, he only took 3 HP away from me. That's not even particularly bad. Alright, what do we have here? Can place mines that explode when enemies pass by. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. Why not? That sounds pretty nice. And we can go and... Ooh. The crowd shouts out pleasure and excitement at the corner of the Market Street. One of them notices you. Would you like a game too? Roll the dice. I'm sorry to say, but you now pay the penalty. Ah, oh, we lost 50 gems. Well, that's wonderful. We could have won, I think. We could have won, but it was very, very luck-based, of course. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so I do need to now make a decision about where I want to place my towers. Hmm. Where do we want to be the most effective? That's the question. Guess the bottom lane. We'll put our hero in the top lane. And then we'll just level this thing up. I mean, literally, that is the only thing I really need to do, which is hilarious. I think that the Phoenix Staff Tower is amazing. I think some of the other towers could use a bit of a buff. For me, personally, I, I, I think they could. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure, really, about that, to be honest. I think they can be useful. But I think for the most part... This is just an overwhelmingly good tower. It really is. All right, let's do this. Oh, what do we have here? Death Ray. Very high HP, but it loses HP continuously. Oh, okay, as you can see. Wow, it is actually... Whoa, it loses massive amounts of HP. Okay, it is flying as well, right? Okay, so these guys are actually healing themselves by the looks of things too. Oh, this is not good. Okay, yeah, this is not good at all. I I'm going to need some defensive structures down here. They multiply? Are you serious? Okay, I had no idea that they multiply. We're just going to have to bombard these. Kill that guy. Yes. What? Are you serious? Okay, yeah, I think I'm... I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Wow, I really thought my uh, my Phoenix Staff Tower would be completely fine to deal with that. But you can see here, they do tell you how many gems you got and how many kills and how much damage you did. But as I said before, I would love to see a breakdown of what kind of damage each tower did. Because that's obviously going to provide you with better information going forward. However, obviously they do already give you those statistics. And otherwise, apart from that, my main suggestion would be to have some kind of meta progression on this menu right here. Because otherwise you're just clicking new game and you're just going into a new run. But you're not getting anything new. What I'd love to see is a new hero. I'd love to see a hero select screen potentially. So when I click new game, I go through to a hero select and then I get the ability to choose, you know, maybe my tower loadout, maybe my hero specifically, because you can see here, obviously I have this guy and he's very cool. Don't get me wrong. I think he's actually doing a great job, but I'd love to see something a little bit different. Maybe a ranged character maybe a spellcaster, maybe uh, a character that buffs towers, maybe a character that has the ability to slow enemies or debuff enemies in some way or another. Something that just covers all the bases of the archetypes of classes. Obviously, I have no idea what they're planning on doing, but this is just a suggestion from my part. Anyway, if you would like to check out Natty, there is a link in the description. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.